Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. And 7800. Yes, mm. and that's what we're playing tonight, mm -hmm. the 7800 games. Uh, welcome, everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, the games tonight we'll be playing are two of them. Mm. Atlas by Simone Serra and Failsafe by Bob DeCrescenzo. Mm -hmm. And I think... We could probably play Bob's games till the end of time, one a week, because oh, one yeah. will never run out. And um, we'll never run out. No, it's very true. <laughs> a lot of games. Of course, it'd be a lot of Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. um, but Nothing we have those that. two games tonight. Uh, welcome to the show. Welcome all the Twitch subscribers, who include Armscar, Coder, Atari Age, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, Catalogs, Charles Whelan, Coconut, 81. Do you know Dan WC, Vat Beavis, Grey mm -hmm. Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, One Year Auto, Just Zanny, Carl G, Mark Space Inc., Matt Lero, Lazarus, on the fur, just snuck in. Thank you. <clears throat> Subscribe for 12 months. Mm -hmm. uh, Metal Atar, Metal Lunar, Mike Soul, Miss Command, MK Swift, Mr. Zarna Woot, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, Neo Media, Nintendo Cade, Pack Rat VG, Quahog, RC70, Rendered Ghosts, Repentless VG, Six Sweet, Mitt, Smitty B, Snicklin, Socrates, Spiceware, Esmer is the Welshman, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. And just like Alan Fur, you can get your name on the list beside Tanya. Mm -hmm. uh, if you uh, click on subscribe, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime, mm -hmm. and make sure you follow on all the social media like that. We have a poll question tonight. Oh, another one. Another you've been, one you've, you've been pretty with um, solid with the poll questions yeah, lately. Lots of good questions to ask, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah, there are lots of things I want to know. Lots of, yeah. It's, it's, he's, he's saving it up for his research project and he'll just Ooh. publish it all. No, no research. <laughs> <laughs> um, the question tonight, because we're playing 7800 games, is how do you play your 7800 homebrew? Uh, with a multi-cart, mm -hmm. like we're playing tonight on the Dragonfly or Concerto or Cuddle Cart 2. Mm -hmm. Or do you not have a multi-cart and you just play with actual cartridges? Close that. Um, uh, like the actual homebrew cartridges. Or do you play on an emulator because you uh, don't have a 7800 maybe? Or number four, I don't play the 7800 or 7800 homebrew games. In which case, you're probably just here to watch. Yeah. <laughs> and see what you could be playing. Mm -hmm. um, there was a question up here. Can you add quality mode other than 1080p60? No, unfortunately. Uh, I am not like a full partner or something. Which you get when you have a super ton of like... That's when you have 70 viewers average. Average, which is really For high. every show, yeah. which is... Beyond what the 2600 and 7800 <laughs> homebrew are Communi capable, communicants are, can support are capable on a regular of. basis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so sometimes we have uh, different mm -hmm. qualities, but that's based on how many people are broadcasting and um, oh, that do at that pr at that point in time. Yeah, that do have uh, that level. Really. And if they have any leftover, they give them randomly out. Really. To people. Yeah. So sometimes we might have lower quality streams for people who don't have a strong connection. That's really um, annoying. That obviously they... tonight, well, they have to, actually they're being nice. They don't have to give it randomly. But couldn't, couldn't they have a way for you to pay for it? Op, uh, yeah, like opt into it somehow? Nope. You only get that That's with annoying. privilege. So yeah. sorry about that. Yeah. Otherwise Gosh. I would, I'd make it like 720p60 mm. and other things like that. Yeah. yeah. Other options. Yeah. Um, no problem, Nostalgic. I thought I would let you know, because uh, some people ask that from time to time. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, when it goes to YouTube, I post it to YouTube after. You can watch it at 240p if you like. Mm. If you want to see blurry things on the screen <laughs> moving around, <laughs> yeah. including us. Um, so, um, oh, the people who are chatting. Crossbow, Nostalgic, Vitoko 8-Bits, Aldefer, Mike Soul, Ground Trooper. Actually, this is good with a poll. Everybody just types. Yeah. Splendid Nut, <laughs> Miss Command, Dan Nostalgic ABC. Dan ABC. Uh, anybody uh, didn't participate in the poll? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Everybody did. Yeah. Ground Trooper yeah. got in there. Excellent. Uh, Crossbow said, I should say I play through the flash cart initially, but then buy the games once released and then play the actual carts. Mm -hmm. I do pretty much the same, except I usually still play them 
I buy the cartridges, leave mm. them sealed, uh, and play on the Dragonfly or Concerto after. I mean, you occasionally well, pull out the cards. I'll bring it out if it's a new game. Yes. And we want to look at the manual and we want to look, show it off and things yeah. like that. You'd like to keep it nice. Yeah. I like to keep it nice. Yeah. And, and since I, I have a binary of it, then I'll play on the binary. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the homebrew developers release binaries in the uh, forums, so you can do that. Mm. Even the mm. full binaries, like uh, Bob Degrisenzo, uh releases all his games, the full versions of the games, so you're able to do that. Um, in sad news, unfortunately, mm -hmm. I don't like to do sad news often, but um, uh, we lost a member of the Atari Age community. Um, it, not not recently, but people found it out recently. Mm. Uh, it was discovered by Alex79 a few days ago that Piero Cavina, author of INV+, Mondo Pong, and Oysteron, uh, passed away a few years ago. Oh, okay. Um, so let's take a look at that. Um, so he said he stumbled across this article about an old Apple II Italian text adventure called Un Mar Marasama uh, Gal Galatico. Like Galatico? That. Galatico? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Babiero <clears throat> Cavina. Uh, maybe many people on here on Atari Age will probably recognize the name as the author of Oystron. Mm. Uh, in one of the earliest homebrews, actually, it was the sixth ever homebrew. The Made? Atari 2600. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, really early. early really days. early. Um, there it is. You, you oh, can buy neat. it on Atari, at the Atari Age store. Wow. Um, it's really fun. Like, and, art, and it's yeah. one of the first home brews I ever bought. Um, it's really, really good. It's like a, yeah. a shooter, a single screen shooter. Mm. Um, <clears throat> uh, anyway, he uh, to, to, uh, looked it up. There was some um, Italian that he translated to. I can say I tried contacting Piero Cavina in 2019 using physical mail because none of the email addresses found on the web were valid anymore, and I got a response from his wife telling me, sadly, he was no longer mm. among us. Um, he wasn't an ma active member anymore when I first joined AA back in 2006, so I never actually talked to him. Mm. But he was one of the early homebrewers and contributed to the start of the hobby, and I enjoyed playing his games and reading his old post in the Stella mailing list. Um, and Albert also, he because he sells his cartridges... Mm. He has to pay, he pays the people uh, when they sell. Yeah. Um, and he sent uh, an email about royalties for Oystron. And uh, he received this cryptic response, um, which is in Italian. But translating it, it says, it could happen, um, which I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's, and, and he says that he usually answers in English. So it's somebody answering for him or an auto responder. Oh, I see. Um something like that yeah uh thomas yen said this is so sad oystron was the homebrew that made me mm. want to do my own always have a special place in my heart um uh, oh it happened it could happen mm. uh and andrew davy said oystron was inspirational t to me too and i'm saddened to hear this mm. news yeah it's a very early very solid homebrew, homebrew like game. it looks really good like somebody could release it today mm. everybody be like yeah that's awesome mm. that's great mm. there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever um so yeah if you haven't tried it definitely give it a try and mm. you'll probably like it if you like shooters at all mm. and we played it on like the 11th show um of oh, okay. zero page homebrew eh, yeah no facts um vh said c got his game um not his game, his award <laughs> that uh, that he got Yay. for the third annual Homebrew Awards. So Let me nice. show it's that. It's so nice to see uh, uh, people's people's pictures, people's photos. Oh, is that on the website? No, YouTube. Sure, there we go. There he is posing with his Lovely. award. <laughs> uh, best Homebrew Atari Twenty Six Hundred Original Work in Progress nice. for Night Guy and Low Res World Castle Days. Excellent. Um, and you can see he's, he's got his little programming station there. Lovely. Some Linux, <laughs> Linux books. Linux and books. Games and <laughs> some memorabilia. Some stuffies in the back. I see a Mario peeking yeah. out. Oh, some NES cards. NES cards. Yeah. Some CD stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, very cool. Nice. And congratulations again. Yes. And, um, also speaking of VHZC, um, in the, um, chat, which name I always forget. 
Discord chat. Mm. Um, he's in there quite a bit, mm. and he was talking about his new homepage, his new uh, website mm. that he's working on, and uh, I just guessed <laughs> what the title would be and got it right, so we're all going to look at it. Oh, actually it looks... He's been working on it all today. It, it must be, because... It looks really good now. Uh, it didn't look like this, like, a couple hours ago. So here you go. VHZC Games. VHZC Games. Homebrew Games for old systems. Lovely. Let me just bring it down a Look little bit. Look at that. Bit. And he's got his ni games. Ninjish Guy in Low Res World. Roach in Space. Slide Boy in Maze Land. <laughs> Iran. Low Res Car. Do Re Mi. Night Guy in Low Res I love Castle the, Days. The love Night it. Guy at the bottom of the screen. Just oh. chilling. Hanging out. Chilling, lying on the ground. That's and awesome. <laughs> merch. I don't know if he's got these sub pages working yet. Oh, he oh, does. Look at that. Look. Ah, he's got all Speaking the laurels. Speaking of. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there you go. Nominated, nominated, nominated. Nice. Very, very nice. Very nice looking. Yep. Um. So, yeah, he's almost got this ready. Oh, that one's not clickable. If playing the games didn't make you want to play his games more, the webpage will. That's right. Yeah. It's a beautiful webpage. Looks awesome. Really, and really good. Links to his, his t shirts. Oh, he's oh. added that recently. Slide Boy Maceland. Nice. Peril, Iran. So he's got any. He's a great artist, too. So. Oh, yeah. You can get his uh, t shirts there. Yeah, I might Very have Very cool. We might have to get a. Get a t shirt? Get one get of a these? T shirt. Yeah, like they're what? really nice. Yep. Really, really nice. Four pages of them. Yeah. Not all, uh, some art, I guess, related I, ones. I have that one. But yes, we do have that one. So I did buy one of his shirts. Yes. Because it's uh, uh, Bosconi, Bosconian, which I yeah. love. I think I have oh, it. Hubert. Because the sizing was a little small. I have that really? shirt. Really? Yeah. Oh, maybe we both have it. It's I ordered shirt. it again. Oh, oh, you did. Yeah, you did. You did. There. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, C64. I like that. A uh, bunch of 8-bit. Oh, nice. look. There's a 7800 t-shirt among... Oh, there you 5, go. Yeah. There we go. That's awesome. Oh, he's got oh, two nice 2600s. Nice. Um, Atari Jr. Anyway, very cool. Um, yeah, I might even buy that one. <laughs> That'd be the one I would get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I have the basic 10 liner one. Mm. Oh, very cool. I should get a Sly Boy shirt. Oh, let's bring it up on the front screen. Where is the chat? Um, good artist yeah i love his art mm -hmm. it's, it's just so cartoony and oh, bubbly and yeah, yeah 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 fun yeah um so that's all the news we're gonna go straight into the games the first one is atlas by simone sarah aka simo the mysterious simo <laughs> who has put out tons of videos on mm. their new games mm. but have not released them anywhere i can't find mm. them anywhere so there's like a back catalog that uh, they're working on here we go. Load up. First game of the night. Okay. I don't know if you can hear the thump, 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 thump Maybe. in the background. <laughs> there appears to be a big party happening somewhere. Yes. Uh, we live right near a park. Yes. <laughs> so there's a lot of people that hang out on very nice weekends. Even though we still have COVID restrictions in effect. Yeah, well, uh, you can you know, stay you can, apart. You can, you can stay apart outside, other. but there's yeah. definitely some something going on out there. Yeah, so. Not quite yeah. as uh, ahead as the U.S. No. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, so this was first posted October 23rd, 2011. Um, other games, you should be able to start it with the button on the left joystick. Left. There we there go. go. What am I doing? If you want, well, I'm still reading, so you ah. can play around if you like. Uh, Pre-summer party. Uh, it's pretty much summer here. <laughs> it's like 20 degrees now. Okay, in this one, I'll, I'll tell you. Press yeah, the button you're going to have to tell me what's happening because I have There's no idea. There's four different games. Yeah. Oh. Press the button. <laughs> really? This one, you change with the second button. Oh, I and see. And you change colors, and then you can go after the other color. Or is it the first button? Oh, I see. First button, yeah. So that's all there is to this game. Oh, gotcha. You can change, though. If you're somebody's near you, you change, and then you can get them. Um, and actually, Atlas is one of the names of the mini games uh, on the Dot collection on the 2600 uh, release of his game uh, Dot. Another mini game collection. Uh, it's the one where you collect pieces and build yourself up. Um, that is like the third oh, one I here. Get it. Okay. 
Yep. Oh God, so cool. there were some instructions for this that were posted. Um, so I'll jump into this one. Uh, which one is this? <laughs> Terrible. There is connector, trapper, no, not trapper, adapter. Yes. Uh, the adapter stage allows Atlas to change its color. This ability allows the Atlas to absorb energy from nearby elements of the same color simply by colliding with them. Uh, elements of the op opposing color moving towards Atlas must mm -hmm. be avoided. After a certain amount of time, each element enters a neutral state, white, then switches its color. To survive, the atlas must keep absorbing energy before the countdown next to the score expires. Oh, six, five, four. Okay, it goes to six. Oh, there's a blue one in there. I know. Okay, so you have like six seconds, and it resets every time you get a new color. Three... There you go. Yeah, it goes right up to six. And then they be, okay. Six maximum. And a very interesting background. There's static green dots and then red dots that are moving up the screen diagonally from lower left to top right. Yeah, Simo is the uh, premier programmer of very interesting games, <laughs> as Dan would put it. Um, they're always like this they're always kind of you're a tiny thing and other things are coming after you and it's a kind of a grid like pattern he's made uh, they've made games where you're moving up the screen a lot but i think most of them are kind of like this at least the mini games oh no i'm, I'm mentally i'm struggling because <laughs> it's like okay you want it you want to get them but you want to to pull them away yep. from the other ones because because then they'll come after they you. they flip they become unneutral after a while. You're gonna run out of time. There you go. You have six seconds only. Uh, it's an original concept. Yeah, his games are so original. They definitely have never been made by any but anybody else. Um, nice. Is that little guy? Uh, is that the that is the guy that did. Om Omicron, right? Very good games. Yeah. Uh, yes, I believe. What are the other games? Um, Atlas for the 7800. Dot. Lead. Lead. That's a good game. Omicron, yeah. Palomino. Palomino. Pitch and Catch and Sink. <laughs> oh, run out of time. <laughs> oh. I'm not hitting the switch over fast enough. Needs an Atlas Junior model. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, okay, I'll read it from the top now. Uh, welcome to the cluster, a remote zone of the system where everything happens under the strict control of Supreme Supervisor. Here, each life form has a def def definite function and purpose, it, and its final goal is to serve the Supervisor. It's only recently that some weird pseudo-random forms of synthetic life just a little bit. Uh, synthetic life has started to appear. In order to survive, these outcasts have grown the ability to behave differently as their shape mutates. These polymorphic beings have been identified by the system administrators as Atlas. Little is known about them, and it is common belief that about uh, that their impact on the system is negligible yet some think that the purpose of such versatile creatures is to challenge the order of the supreme supervisor itself so this is 2011. so left fire to start the game right fire goes to the next stage i definitely want to play this oh, before it's, it's so crazy i'm next you know what it is so when they become neutral they switch colors so you think it's gone neutral and it's still pink but it actually turns into blue Okay. So it, it creates this weird wave where you think you're drawing them away. You think you're drawing them away and you're saving yourself, but then they switch colors and then, mm. then they hurt you. So it's the interesting. It's really neat. This crossbow says the secret is to line them up in one color, then take them out quickly. Yes, ah. you have to get them immediately. Yeah. Like so. that? Oops, and then I change. But you see, really. if, they, if they turn white, then they change. Yeah. yeah. Smart. And then you want to run away a bit and then drag them towards you. 
That is really smart. I was ah, running yeah. out of time. Damn yeah, it. it's 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 I'm it's interesting. Yeah, it, you do kind of in a way. It is really cool. <laughs> it's really uh. They're all turning into white. Oh, I yeah, didn't switch. and they turn oh. white and then they switch. Oh, too. so if they leave, if you leave them for too, too long, long, yeah, they will they will turn on you oh, in a way, and okay. then they'll start attacking you. So you think you're getting a blue one, but you're ah, not. Ah, it, yes. It, it's, there is some time it, to this. It makes it harder. It it really does. It's really cool. Oh my god. Oh and then God. I forget what I am sometimes too. When <laughs> I I don't know why, but it's like I'll run into something like, oh, I wasn't purple. <laughs> it's uh, it's really cool. You want to stay away from the white because the white will turn against you. Yeah. Which that took me a little bit of time to figure out. So. The problem is they turn into white, and then you're trying to get one, but it's like, nope, I'm gonna turn into white. Yeah. Ah, no. Oh. Mm. Good job. 3447. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you want another go mm. or are you good? Mm -hmm. Good with this one. So you said there are a bunch of mini games. Four mini games in this. So we'll move on after this. Ah. You have to get them like immediately. Yeah, you can get one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, see, one. then you ran into them. I <laughs> see. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do it too fast now. Yep, yep. That's how I was doing it for a bit. Oh, oh you waited too long. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what if real life friends kept switching back and forth like this? Exhausting. <laughs> that's right. Flip. Oh. That would be exhausting. I'm really liking this game. I can picture having friends over to play this one. Yeah, it's it's so easy to learn. It's that's that's what is great about this. Like, if you're blue, you can get the blue. If you're red, you can get the red. Anything else, you die. Actually, whites are neutral, right? Yeah. No, no, whites are changing, really. But they don't hurt you. They're neutral. No. Yeah, so this is a really good example of a game that you can understand super easy. Kind of reminds me of how the cooks follow you in Food Fight. Yeah, they're all... It's like the... Because there's no obstacles oh, on the screen, they can go straight for you. So the enemy AI movement is fairly basic to calculate, right? a very very smart concept like things are chasing you two different colored things are chasing you well one doesn't they switch <sighs> do obstacles show up later or in, in some game versions uh no it this is this is the whole game but there are three other ones that play very differently <laughs> But are all similar, like your dot moving around, and there's other dots. Oh, kicking ass. Can you beat my score? You just did! Yay! Kicking ass. I mean, it would be a good variation to have obstacles that you have to go around. Or even three different colors? Like more colors? I don't even know how that would work. That'd be too easy. Maybe not. Oh, okay. it changed! You're done. That was pretty Destroyed good. Destroyed that one. That was nope, fun. Next one. Oh, here, here, here. We're warm now. <laughs> Sweater was not a good idea. Okay, so <laughs> the next one is. Come on. <laughs> Connector. So press the second button. Second button. Okay. Uh, at the beginning of each stage, the atlas is neutral. You can jump into it and play around. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and no object can collide with it. Oh yes, you build yourself up. So get the blues and just get all the blues, but don't touch the reds. Um, and this is the Atlas game in the Dot Mini games. Oh, it ran out of time. Almost got them. Uh, after a short while, the Atlas becomes operative, green. Don't get reds. Uh, oh, and you can, can only get blues? Yep, yeah, and, and can connect with blue objects by moving in their oh, proximity. Oh, see, you didn't say that. <laughs> Once connected, the blue object turns <gasps> green and becomes part of the Atlas. If any of the red enemies co object collides with any of the green objects, it's game over. Uh, besides the score, there's the timer. Oh, seven, six, five. Oh, you only have so much time each level. Three, two. Oh, so it starts at nine. Ah. Kind of sticks, ah. sticks at nine for a while. Uh, it shows how many seconds are left to connect the remaining blue objects. Oh, the timer starts up when you turn green. That makes sense. It gives you a bit of... Ah! Ah! Uh, once all the blue objects are connected, another stage will begin. And you'll be, you will get a bonus based on the time you save. Failing to connect all the blue objects in time will result in game over. Oh, come here, blue. No! <laughs> Moving slow. Oh. And it looks like all, each one of the red and blue objects are either work, moving in a straight line, up and down, or side to side, or they're in a complete diagonal. So they're very predictable. They don't change directions. But they, they can still kind of... Or, well, they don't change directions yet, unless it gets harder. They all seem to be going at about the same speed. Or if not, uh, all the same speed. Oh, uh, you're too big. Uh, oh, too big! That was a good. Okay. That My was turn. good. That was fun. Love these little games. <laughs> Just simple, quick, fun games. Pick up, right? Easy to learn. I think somebody said it would be a good party game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... It, these uh, simple games would make great party games because you can just pick up the joystick and start playing and you can explain the rules in like mm -hmm. 10 seconds oh my god i picked up that blue one and then it it, it hit the red it hit the it, red. It, it 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 is challenging especially as you get bigger it's like ah ha, ha, dodge the reds dodge them yeah so try not to pick up the blue ones near reds yes too yeah and stack them around yourself so you don't I get massive. I love the slightly, like, the shifting background, too. Yes. It gives it a real um, sense of movement, you know? Yeah. If it was just the dots, I think it would be a little duller. A little static. Yeah, a little static, whereas it gives it a bit of yes. interest, like the background. Simo is excellent at using everything that's available. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to go around here. And nice music too, yeah. Yep, great music. Sometimes the music that Simo makes is kind of like, dee -doo 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 -doo. but it it always seems to be generated. Mm. Like it's not a tune, like a specific tune. It's mm. there's some like a rhythm to it, mm. but it, I think it almost it's, feels random. I think it's somewhat random and generated. Mm. Mm. Oh, I find this faster. one... Is it? Yeah. Oh. The music is getting faster. I find this minigame very easy. <laughs> it's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unless you get too big. It is going faster. It is a little... Know. Well, the music suddenly seemed to get faster, but maybe that was just my perception. No, nope. Yeah, it, it is, is getting faster. It is moving faster. I don't think it's moving as fast as it should. <laughs> maybe. It could probably go faster. Yeah. Neat. Or it could put more of the red balls on the screen and make it harder. But I don't think there's any more than there has been. I don't think it's, it's changed. There's five and it's... Are there more blue? I don't think so. No. It just gets a little faster. Yeah, it should add more blue or more red so yeah. that you have to be bigger or avoid more things. Yeah. Might have to give up on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Sometimes when I say that, somebody points out, you're playing the game wrong. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm surviving. I'm yeah. getting more points. <laughs> so, I <laughs> can't remember what other game I gave up on as well. Yeah. There was one. I tend to look for clusters. Oh, this one's taking a little longer. Oh, oh did you Just die? Oh my gosh. No, no, no. I thought you were about to die there. No. And roll the score. It does have a lot of digits. I don't think I'll be doing that. Hmm. Yeah. Oh bad. no, you're leaving. She no, bored. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. It's warm. It's warm. It's changing. Okay, moving on to the next one. Uh, so this one is called Breaker. On the playfield, there are a few stationary bases. Okay. Uh, Square-shaped red objects. Yeah, you can see them. The playfield is also popular by, populated by circular red objects. Yeah, that constantly move towards any of the bases. Whenever a circular object enters a base, it remains in it for a given amount of time. A new base is built and placed randomly on the playfield. I know the new, I know they made a checks game, but one with Cheerios. Yeah, this could be the Cheerios game. Hey, Immortal Knight. Uh, easy to learn, hard to master. Those are the best games. Uh, Atlas' goal is to avoid the creation of new bases on the playfield. Atlas cannot collide with the red objects, but can collide with the bases. Whenever this happens, the base is relocated on the playfield, and all the red objects that are moving towards it enter a neutral state. When a circular object enters a neutral state, it becomes white and stops moving and can be absorbed by the Atlas within a given amount of time. A neutral object will turn yellow when it's about to return to operative state. The Atlas, this one's a bit more complicated. The Atlas can collide with a base that is populated by a circular object. Doing this will interrupt the base creation proce process and no new bases will be built. You start the, with three bases on the play field. When a ninth base is built, it's game over. Okay. So we don't want bases to be built. Okay, I'm the blue. And I died. Uh, um, so, eating up the bases. I think I have to get the ones with... There we go. I think it's... No, it's all the bases. Oh, dramatic change. <laughs> Much better. Much better. I figure I might as well read the Bosconian charts. Might as well. Yeah. We're talking about it. Yeah. Okay, so I have to get rid of all these bases, not just the ones gray. So what are you getting rid of? The, the pink squares? Yep. When there's nine on the screen, it's game over. Wow, that's fast. Yep. But there's something about the gray. Oh, it pauses. Oh, oh, so you get a gray one. Yeah. And it pauses all of them and tur there turns them white. There we go. That's what you have to do. You can't ignore the one that they're going towards. Mm. That one's not gray yet. Oh. Oh. Okay. Good. Hmm. Very slidey. Mm -hmm. Ah, there was one hiding behind there. Okay. I now have 7800 so I can play these homebrews soon. Awesome, is over. Is there a game that's hard to learn and easy to master? And Crossbow says, yeah, I call it Minesweeper. <laughs> hard to learn. And easy to master? I mean... I don't know if it's hard to learn. Definitely easy to master. I would say it's well because there it's just a logic but it's, puzzle. It's a logic. Oh One, wow! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, that was eight, fast. Nine. Yeah. Wow! You want to get the gray ones, and it pauses everything, so you can catch up. Yes. A bit. It's in very good condition. It, it looks like it wasn't used much. Has it been modded? Um, still RF. Yeah. See, everything pauses. That's when you get it. I finally repaired the power button on my 7800, so I'm good to go. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah, original. Are you going to mod it, Azor? Or are you going to keep it stock? Perfect condition. I like keeping things original. Very cool. 
And, I mean, if you have a CRT to go with it, then all the better, right? It definitely, oh, the an unmodded RF looks better on a CRT than definitely than on a, oh. on a LCD flat screen. I have three CRTs. Well, even better, you have choice. I only have two. They're not RF. They are Commodore monitors. So if I want to plug anything RF into them, I have to run it through a VCR first, which kind of doesn't uh, help when you're running it through something already. Hi. Hi. This one's a bit harder. I, I I don't. It's it's a little. It's slidey. The movement it's very is very slidey. Very slidey. And I feel like I'm those sure that's white purpose. things turn into like they go white, gates. yellow, then oh, gates. Do they? I don't know. No, the yellow things turn into red. Sometimes you can't get the gates easily either. You're going right You're like, in between whoosh, them. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. You're okay. going back and forth. Ready okay. for the next one? That one's like meh. It's okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's hard. It's really hard. Mm. And you're sliding all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, this one's called Trapper. If you want to go to the next one. Uh, the Atlas can place traps, blue squares, on the play field to survive the constant chase by the red enemy units. Mm. Once a red enemy unit collides with a trap, it gets disabled and is relocated on the playfield. Mm. A disabled enemy unit becomes white, cannot move, mm. and can be absorbed by the atlas. Go after the white ones. Mm. Not the red ones. They kill you. You have to drop those, the traps, and they run into them and become white. Oh my gosh! Okay, I, I, I get it, but oh my goodness. <laughs> there, How do you, you get one. them? How well, do you're you dropping get them? it, and then you're redirecting them. But I'm trying to get to the white ones, and they just kind of randomly end up all over the place. Well, they do randomly. They are randomly placed. So it's hard to, to get them. You have to run really quick. It's to them. so hard to get them. <laughs> um, when the enemy unit is about to return to its operative state, it becomes yellow. Uh, to survive, the Atlas <sighs> must absorb a disabled enemy unit before the timer expires. Ah. So you have to get one of those white things, or yellow which is more dangerous, but... Um, to place one of the three available traps where the Atlas is positioned, press the left fire. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> kitties. Oh, oh zero. Boy. That's really... It's really challenging. Credits. Source code, Eric Ball, G. Dement, Dan Boris, Robert Decrezenzo, Radek, Sturba, Eckerd Stolberg, Thomas Yetch. Editor, Crimson Editor. Assembler, DASM. Emulation, multi-emulation uh, super system, mess. Uh, PAL testing, Mark Ball, Groovy B. Pokey music created with Radix Sturba's raster track, music tracker. Special thanks to AtariAge.com. Oh my goodness, yeah, you try it. <laughs> Wanna take the cat? Oh, oh. no! Oh. He was so happy. <laughs> he was so happy there. Carson out of time. Mm. Oh no! It's so hard. It is hard. It's hard to get to the white ones in time because they they turn. They turn they so do. quickly. It's definitely the more challenging of the yeah. Yeah, because uh. they they reappear randomly. Yeah. So they might be nowhere near you. Ah. Uh. You have to hope. Yeah. Hope that one appears near you. You just have to lay out a trap, bunch of traps. That's what you do. Yeah, but then none of Damn them are it. near you, right? Yeah. Like, like they're all on the other side of the screen. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. This one's. Hard. This one is the hardest, I think. Hey, Metal Lunar. Um, it's going okay. <laughs> This game is really cool and oh, also very difficult. <laughs> yes. Is that somebody's following? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you can't read it. Something. Oh, it just flashed up. Oh, it'll part. be in the lower left there. Lower left of the whole screen. No, not there. E. Douglas Starlight has followed. Where is it? The lower Welcome. Left? Oh, you mean on the console? Yeah. The oh, gotcha, gotcha. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice. Oh, an arena foot's here. Welcome. Hey! What? I went right through it. Oh, I want an instant <laughs> replay. Oh, you can do that. <laughs> Look at that. That kind of worked. Oh, <coughs> Excuse me. Spreading them out, you mean? A little bit more? Like leading them into a... A, a wall. Huge trap like that. But yeah. still hard. It's still really hard. Because I'm hoping like, oh, one will just appear nearby. Mm -hmm. But you run out of time messing around like that. Ah, oh, I went right through it! Oh, I'm gonna die now. Go! Ah! It's a cool concept, but I think they turn too fast. I think, yeah. Like, they turn from yeah. the, the white to, uh, yellow, to the yellow too, too quickly. Way too Yeah. I can barely get started and get, like, a, a pattern going. Go! Is there any, um... Oh, there's die! No, there's no difficulty adjustment or anything like this. Yeah. Not in the instructions. It didn't say anything about that. Mm. Yeah. Every time. I know. They're too far away. <laughs> get one right away. That's all I can get. Ah. Oh, ah. Any, any tips out there? <laughs> I want to try something else. Okay. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh. Ah. Yes. Having difficulty levels will be great here. Yes. Especially for this one, because all you needed to, to do in this one is change the amount of time it takes from going white to yellow to red. That's it. And that would be the perfect difficulty. Um, get it. <laughs> Too late. Oh, you're... That's what happens eventually. They all turn into one line of them. there hurry two seconds one second ah that didn't work <laughs> this looks pretty hard atari 2600 dude says oh you can't do that no you have to oh, kind of go it, it, oh it, it is i just had them lined challenging, up challenging but tanya's starting to get a strategy kind of yeah Oh, uh, too far, too far, too far. No, no, no. There's no point to getting an, one weight after the other because it just barely resets your time. What you want to do is this. Yep. Oh, oh not enough lead time. Them, put yeah. one, but go it's, and it get them. But it takes a little bit too much time. Do you know what I mean? Like, yep. get them, get them close. You have to be behind the I know. blue. So it's better to do it. Um, how did you do it before? Oh, oh you know what? You, yeah. you lead them. And whip around them. You have to whip around so you have the field in front of you. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that I think helps. I think that helps. Kind of lead them. But the thing is, yeah. you don't want to run out of time either. So yeah. you have to kind of play with it a little bit. There you go. You just need one at a time, really. Yeah, to keep you going. Yep. Ugh. You want to be on the other side of them, though. You don't want to yeah. lead them because all everything's going to be on the other side. Yes. You want to kind of corral them and then get on the other side of them. Yes, I know. I know. It's just hard. It's very hard to do. Yeah. Oh my god, did I get yeah. it? No. <laughs> yeah. I noticed the game's difficulty increases with each new mini game. Yeah. Yes. The first one is definitely the easiest. Well, I, I find the second one the easiest. Yeah, you want to lead them and then whip Zero. around them. Yep. Yeah. Like lead them. Lead them. No, don't don't drop them. Oh, Just I lead see. Lead them. Oh, yes. Lead them to one point and then kind of get around the other side of them. Yes, so, that's there. Right. 
So they all run into That's it. That's right. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yes. Because so, you want to have space for the, the white things to... There you go. Yeah. Kind of like that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I got it. You don't want to corner yourself where you can't get to any of the white ones. Kind of get it going first. Yeah. Mm hmm Like that, yeah. Actually, if you just lay them in the middle and just run them back and forth. That's exactly what yeah. I was <laughs> that's, that's a really good way of doing it. Oh. I got it. But that's that's a much better tactic. Yep. You just I think you do want to lead them a little bit first though. Into a group. Just lay them in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to lead them in as a group a little bit before you get going, because it makes it really hard. Even then, it's hard to maintain that. It is hard to maintain. But a good, we've got a better idea now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you actually reduce the numbers of them? No. No, no, they, no. they just turn constant. into whites. It's just it's for points. You don't ever completely get rid of them. No. Seventy Anna could do justice to all their particles in reactor port. Well, there's another one for people to port over. Mm -hmm. You gonna play this one more, more? No, I'm, no, you I'm got good. it. Yeah, okay. I feel like we we figured out a strategy. Yes, we did. Worked very well. Okay, next game we're going to play. Actually, we're going to take a look at the poll mm -hmm. before we forget about it. Uh, how do you play to Atari Seventy Eight Hundred Homebrew uh, with fifty percent? Quite a number, actually. Oh, with the Dragonfly. Uh, with Dragonfly, Concerto, and cu or Cuddle Cart, too, nice. with a multi-cart. So nice. a lot of people out there have it, which is great, because mm -hmm. then they can load it up immediately and play. And then Split 2020 emulator, and I don't play 7800. Well, welcome to the show anyway. <laughs> you watch us play. You don't have to have a 7800. They play 2600. That's, That's right. That's all good. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this is, uh, you know... Uh, the younger brother of the 2600, oh, yeah, <laughs> the 7800. And 10% use just homebrew carts. Nice. Uh, is that us? Nope. No idea noise. what that noise. It could have been outside. Could have been outside. Somebody's <laughs> phone There's making noises. There's something going on out there right now. <laughs> okay, let's get the other next game going. Fail save. There we go. Bob DeCrescenzo and I have printed instructions. Um, you did play this game. Okay. Well, on the um, on the interview with Bob DeCrescenzo that we did extensive oh, interview. Okay. Yep. 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 Um, oh yes. Right. This was a nice right, right, game. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice game. Mm -hmm. I nice. liked it. Yeah. It was a nice game. It was a nice game. Uh, where is my screen? Uh, one second. What is happening? Yeah, nothing there. Maybe just the frame monster needs a little kick. Not showing up. What the hell? Like we were just playing a game. Yeah, we were. Maybe it does need a little kick. Hmm. What in the hell is happening? Kathy Man 2D. Well, the first question for ZPH is, did you ever play Countermeasure? Oh, no, I didn't. On the A8 slash 5200. Actually, while we're waiting, mm. for this, not waiting, while I'm fixing. <laughs> well, while James is doing tech support. Uh, we can, uh, Needs uh, a cat to chew on the cable a little bit to get it going. That's right, just, just a <laughs> Thanks, little bit. Thanks, Metal Lunar 7, Kinda yeah. Kind of put it back in place. <laughs>
should be back in full glory and hopefully the computer doesn't go nuts this time. Check, 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 check. Okay, so can you type back when you're in the safe spot? Sound at last. Okay, we don't need to. Okay. Too slow. We're back. <laughs> We're playing the game. This Yay. is fail safe. And you played on intermediate mode, right? Mm -hmm. Started? Uh, yes, I believe okay. so. Okay. This is by Bob DeCrescenzo. It is from the year. Commercial here? Oh, sorry about that. I do not control the commercial. Oh, <laughs> um, this is from 2010. Uh, um, it's available in the Atari Age store. And it is the unoffic unofficial sequel to the 1982 uh, 5200 game, Atari 5200 game Countermeasure, which uh, appears to only have ever been released on the 5200. So nobody ever got a port of that game. Um, so this is uh, awesome that he has made um, a sequel to it because it's very, very, very similar um, from what I can see. I looked through my cartridges um, and I didn't have oh, countermeasure. Awesome. Zoom, go fast, run. Are you on the oh. Yes, you are. Sorry. <laughs> Awesome. One oh, tank they, left. All of it comes off the screen. Yeah, probably to make it easier to start. Is there? Yeah. Hmm. Those who don't subscribe get ads. Oh, well, there's a bonus. Mm. Um, oh, there, I had a whole bunch of stuff lined up. Um, but that's okay. Because I had a video of, of uh, countermeasure readied. But it looks very, very similar to this. And also they had a label contest for the game on January 18th, 2010. Uh, Jawfish and Nonner242 won the contest. And the game was released on June 19th, uh, 2010. <gasps> Shoot. Game over. Maybe we should play an easy. No, it's no? not hard. Okay, why are you done? Huh? 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 <laughs> I'm just getting used to it. <laughs> um... So Failsafe has been in the high score club twice. Um, the top score out of both of those times was 198,350. And I believe they played it on hard. Though. So let's figure out what the different uh, names are for all of those. So that's an I. And that is invincible. So go for it. I'm invincible? Yep, your tank will be invulnerable to enemies and their fire. But it only lasts for a few seconds, so be quick. I think uh, the tank starts flashing, so. Can you use the button two to change the angle of your turret? Hmm, interesting. We'll try that one, she's in safe. Try it, button two. No, just fires. So it's normal. It's just a normal button. Um, so the power ups are F for freeze enemy. That, that's just as good as invincible, pretty much. It's very dark, isn't it? Isn't it dark? It's a dark game. It's the lights reflecting. Yeah, very dark green. Very dark green. Then very dark green trees. So, L is mm -hmm. letter. Washington has learned of a letter to the failsafe code that will help you stop the missile launch. Grab this power up and see what it is. Did it flash something on the screen? Mm -hmm. What was it? Was it a so, lighter? It's the number six. Six? What was it, people? Oh, XX6X. X. Thank you so much, Crossbow. Because oh. those are numbers we need to win the game. And if we don't write them down, well, you do have to make it to the end of the game, I think, though, as well. So, I'll get a piece of paper anything to write on. It's annoying. So X, X, 6, X. Remember the 6 in the third position. So I've got it down. I've written it down. Uh, F for freeze enemy, I for invincible, S for speed, gives your tank a temporary speed boost, making it capable to plow through trees, towns, mm. and waters like they're open road. Mm. So that's a good one. Uh, distance. Your tank will be able to shoot much further than your enemies for a short period of time. So a D for distance. Did you restart? Me? Still playing the same game? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
when these power-ups are about to run out of their power, your tank begins to flash, so make sure you get to safe ground. There are four other packages, but they're much more rare, and they don't interfere with the aforementioned power-ups should you find them. T for time. So what'd you get? Speed, right? You go right through the trees. Mm -hmm. You don't have to shoot these guys. Yeah, but you get stuff. You do. That's true. Uh, T for time give you five more minutes. Ooh. So it's actually a countdown. You you actually want to go fast. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were wanting to kill everything. Nope. Uh, we'd be very happy to find these in higher levels. Uh, P for player uh, awards a player with an extra tank. So you do want to kill them, but really... Can be at an angle of that one. <laughs> Taking the slow route. The slow road. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, this is very slow. Oh, that's a fast tank. Yeah, it was a fast tank. Um, and L, you got the letter, which is good. Um, which will help. E for energy. Included in this package is a full fuel tank. Recharges your tank to maximum fuel. I wonder what happens when you don't have maximum. I, I sometimes, I'm not lining myself up because I think I'm off the angle, but I'm not. So anyway, at least they all die. Yep. Um, so after the successful elimination of the terrorists and their missile silo complexes, we have heard through various sources that they have relocated and have doubled their security. Once again, you must invade enemy territory, prevent the missile launching aimed at Washington, D.C., and stop the terrorists once What's and for D? all. What's D? D is distance. You can shoot really far. Oh, yeah. Like the whole screen, I think. Yes. I want that eye because you'll be invincible. Shoot him, you're dead. Oh my god! How come I can face him and shoot him and he doesn't get hit and then he can shoot me? Because your tank's wider. That's garbage. Your tank's wider than him. That's and garbage. And you're shooting one pixel off. Garbage! Uh, playing the game, make your way through five different terrains in search of the depot where you will pick up fail safe clues. Once you make contact with each depot, one letter in its one letter in the code in its correct position appears in the center of your fuel gauge. Mm. The sixth terrain is the most dangerous of all. The missile silo is heavily guarded by all enemies, including a minefield. If you make your way past that, you'll have to face the four-digit octal code to stop the launch and save the world. Uh, how, do you, how do you shoot diagonally? Because I sometimes... There. Yeah, and that didn't work because I lost my distance, but... It's hard. It it's harder it than up or down. Yeah, it, 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 you, you are. There we go. Uh, along the way, you will encounter more accurate jeeps, cruise missiles, stationary shooters, pillboxes, and even the terrorists themselves. Hiding behind bunkers. Don't worry, though. Oh, game over. That Launch code's right. useless. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Should we do novice or intermediate? Oh, whatever you feel. Do intermediate. Okay. Yeah. They're playing Heart of Glass again. Someone's singing at this time. Oh I my think they're God. having like a karaoke. Terrible. Karaoke in the park. Oh, well, they already did Heart of Glass. <laughs> like five minutes ago. Maybe they have a limited subset of <laughs> songs they can play or One play song. from. <laughs> yeah. Would you a lot like, of Heart of Glass going like on right now. Would you like to sing Heart of Glass or nothing? <laughs> We have Heart of Glass <laughs> and Blondie. And Blondie. Oh, T. What was that? I don't know. You didn't give me the instructions. T. Time gives you five more minutes oh. to reach the missile silo. That's oh pretty good. My god. Oh, my God. Blondie, Parallel Lines album. T equals time. Oh. Octal. Only a programmer would choose Octal. <laughs> diagonal shots worse be work best when moving diagonal. Distance, you can shoot. Invincibility. Really That's invincibility. Yeah. You have invincibility and distance, or just invincibility? Just invincibility. Oh, Wipes know. out the other one. I'd rather have I. Mm, then me I can too. Shoot them, and then maybe get another one. Yeah. Oh, you're flying through. See, you're taking advantage of your. E for powers. energy. E for energy. Oh, come on. A full on. fuel tank recharges your tank to maximum fuel. 
Wow, you died fast. We're gonna have to play Neon Thomas. Even though it's not... <laughs> Even though it's not hard? Uh, oh, is my shot shorter? Yes. On you Novice? Had, you had distant. Oh, I don't know. Don't shoot me. I studied Octo in college, but never encountered it in real life. <laughs> You said you'd never use Octo in real life. Well, I don't you, even know what it is. Right. So you're going to have to define. <laughs> it's zero through F. Oh, in, oh in that's hex hexadecimal. hexadecimal. What's Octo? Oh, Octo. Sorry, that was wrong, yeah. Um, zero through eight? Well, yeah, oc Octo does mean eight, but. Yeah, zero through eight. Is that instead what Octo of, is? Instead of zero through nine, like we use, right? Meh. Like humans use. Two to the power of three. Because we eights, have ten fingers. Eights are pretty special. Eights are special. Oh, he shot twice. I didn't think he was going to do that. Shoot, I'm assuming it's base eight, but can't remember anything else. No. Oh, come on. So, really, you want to wait until just after they aim there, and then go in and shoot. That's the easiest way. So, don't be on the diagonal. Wait till they shoot. Boom, Octal. Steve, C1331. Three, three, one. Octal is 0 through 7. Okay. Oh, so yeah. It starts eight, at 0. Yeah. 8 digits. Zero. Yeah, yeah, interesting. I did not study Octal. Interesting. <laughs> that, you didn't take the Octal course? No, freeze. F for freeze. Yeah. That means you can. Just it's pretty much the same as invincibility. Kind of. Like, because. Oh, you can't shoot very far, though. Yeah. You know, just, just, yeah, just plow through. Oh no! Okay, hurry, 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 Shoot hurry, him. hurry, 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 Get him! Nice. Good job. Thank you. I'm sure you can do base anything. Although oh yeah. Base seven would be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you could use that for. Something, maybe. Octo is zero through seven. Get in. Which way should I go? Oh, not north. Octopi must use it. Thank you, <laughs> Kathy Man 2D. Yep, that's their primary counting yeah. method of counting. F? Freeze. I think it's only useful for 4 bit stuff. I'm sure there's truth to that. Octal is 3 bits. Oh, there you go. 3 bits. Oh, I can't shoot that far. That means neither can he. Two bits, 25 cents. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Distance, that's really oh, good, actually. Yes. You can shoot Very from afar. Good. Yeah, I'll just take the shortcut. Slow sh actually, that was faster than going around. Probably why they put it all there. Mm. Oh, my distance. It's going away. It's gone. It's gone. So I didn't read everything. In the manual. What else? Continue. Strategy? Um, yeah. Get to know the angles of the enemy's shots. You shoot at different angles, then your enemy's giving you the ability to shoot them without them being able to shoot to hit you. Yes. Uh, you have a slight advantage with vertical shots, and your enemies have a slight advantage with horizontal ones. Oh, mm. really? Try to lure the terrorists from behind the bunkers so only their heads or legs show. This way you can pick them off without them being able to hit you. I haven't got there yet. No, well, we haven't hit one of those yet. You can hear the cruise missiles before you see them. All the stuff we have not encountered. Yeah. Um, as soon as you hear the sound of their engines, get to an open area as fast as possible so you have the best chance of stopping them before they hit you. Hmm. Turn it up a little bit because obviously there's some be audio. Be very cues. careful when obtaining an S power up. S. You will be very tempted to go full oh. speed past the enemies, but you could very easily end up crashing into an enemy or their fire. Yeah. It's very true. Skill levels. Ah. Each each skill level. Ooh, I need fuel. We do need to shoot. What's T? Um, time. Time. Okay. Time is not oh. a bad thing to have. Yep. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I need fuel. Uh, 
You please. Oh, oh God. Mm. Oh, mm. something different. The train is changing. Muddy train. Maybe you're at the bunker? Oh, oh, oh God. Do they shoot? They do yeah, shoot. They do shoot. Oh, they shoot like crazy. Oh, can they shoot up? Oh, they can. Oh, my God. How am I going to kill them? Get it far enough away. You can shoot further than them, I'm assuming. Uh, no. I don't think so. Mm. They take a long time to turn. So oh, no! <sighs> First death. You still, oh, you still have shitty fuel. Um, oh, my God, I do. Okay. What are these guys about? They look like turrets. Uh... Uh, uh, they? They're not turning. Yeah, okay, that was easy. Get him from the side. Yeah. Be careful. That one's a normal one. Oh. Why would they include that? <gasps> What's what up? is that? The letter. Six something something. I have to write it down on here. Well, it's just six. Six blank blank blank. You need to erase the, the old one. Mm -hmm. F! Oh my god. Do I get refueled? Blank something something two. Okay, now we're in trouble. Oh, these guys. No, you've got full fuel. You have no extra lives, but you have full fuel. See, you've got to man. You've got to get the uh, diagonals. I think. Yep. I I was struggling with that. Okay. Oh, an I. So, invincibility, nice. Just gonna shoot, go, and if there's any power ups, we'll grab them. Actually, we won't grab them immediately. Get him. Oh, running out of invincibility. Oh, what did you get? I don't know. Nothing. Mm, got something. Hmm. Nice. Invincibility. That's right. I got the star. Do I have to go through those trees? Maybe. Yep. Oh, fuel! Get it! Get it! Get it! Oh my god. Oh, why is it? Oh, because everything stopped. The codes are a lot more complex and failsafe than the three letter codes. This one I need. This one I need. Speed? Yep. But it blanks out everything else. That's why we have the star. Power up stuff. So good. Mm. Oh, the speed is so good. I won't get you. I won't get you. Here. Here. Mm -hmm. Power up. Nope. Nothing. Go, tank, mm. go. Slowly go. Codes are a lot more complex and failsafe mm. than the three-letter codes in 5200. Mm. Mm. Complex. Mm. Do they not? Just... I'm really digging the graphics. I agree. I, yeah. the immediate, I, nice. I love it, and I can't, I'm trying to think of what it what it reminds me of. But I swear, there's like, what is this? Cotton fields? Like, what's going on? It, it's trees, so interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Oh, codes in CM were like LOL, Leo, etc. Oh, like letter I codes, I guess. Oh, I see. Invincibility. That's what I want, but I have to get out of here too. Uh, oh. <laughs> wasting it so much. Oh, you can go kind of diagonal. There you go. Like little bugs. Oh, that's it. Ugh, it took too long coming out of that tree, that meadow. Ugh. Okay. There's some mowing down trees with the tank. Yeah, so. the tiles are well done and horizontal scrolling. The map looks huge too. Yeah, it's massive. Yeah, it's huge. Oh, there's the door, so you've gotten to the end. Yep. That's a good thing. I'm gonna try and take this guy out just to guess he has time or something. No, he's not. Mm -hmm. So that's level two. Six? Well, you got the six already. Oh, okay, so you can get bonuses. The classic combat Ooh, sounds. Nice. Look nice bright this. screen. Finally. Oh, oh, you got a turret there. Uh, oh, he's turning. 
Oh, I can't shoot that. It's a rock. I think. Hmm. Oh, he turns. He sh yeah, he shoots oh. at you. Oh. How often? Not too often. Yeah. You can probably race him. Yep. Yeah. So far, easy is a bit easier. Oh, oh, you are playing easy. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to show the game. Well, yeah, you do want to see. Yeah, that's fair. I want to see the whole game. That's fair. Oh, oh. back and forth. Oh, okay. That's your pattern? No, nope. you're fixated on this. Okay. Come on, shoot. Shoot. There we go. <gasps> fuel. Yeah. Is it fuel? Yep. Oh, freeze. Oh, oh freeze. Yeah. Sorry. I was thinking. Which is just right. as good as invincibility. They're all behind. One more. Ooh, what's E? Energy. Just got it. Oh, that energy is the fuel tank recharge. Okay. Come on, shoot. You're too close. I think you have to go around the other side of him. Uh, what well, does that mean? I can go through? No, but so. you have time. No, you have time, though, to get around him. Yeah. Is that all you can shoot? Yeah. I can shoot forever. Ah, there we go. Oh. Move this way. Yeah, power up. You can go through water, I think. It's slow. It's just slow. It's like. Run! That's not really freeze. What do the but... different colors mean in the turrets? I don't think they mean uh, they're distance, because the blue ones seem to shoot a lot. Oh, freeze still works Energies. with energy. Yeah. Energy is independent of it. Good job. I don't think the colors mean anything. I don't know. I thought the blue, the blue ones seem to have a short throw. Really? Yeah, but I, I, I thought. Maybe or maybe it's just oh, what is that? Uh, what did I get? Color. Freeze. Oh, do I have to go across water? Oh, almost. <laughs> no. That guy is gonna shoot you though. He is. You're within range for him. Oh, oh maybe not. See, they do really have different short. distances. Maybe they do. Yeah. Well, I guess I have to go this way. Walk up to them, shoot, shoot them. Takes a while for the bonus to appear, though. Because it has to fizzle out completely. Mm. Come on. <coughs> this looks like it was made for the XCGS rather than the 7800. Mm hmm, yeah. What with the tiles and the HUD font? HUD font? Oh, did I get time? Uh, HUD font. Oh, at the top, yeah. Time, yeah. Five more minutes. Yeah, good. it does. It really does look like a, a computer game. It looks like something game. I would play on this Commodore. Yeah. Too. Oh, 100%. It, it just feels like it. But it was never ported like to it. anything. Yeah, it's this crazy. Game. It's so it feels computer friendly, I it, would think. Oh. Knew it. Damn it. It feels Commodore 64-ish to yeah. me. Yeah. Something about the graphics. I'm. I definitely played... A golf game that reminded oh, me of this. That makes Top sense. Down. It's trying to mimic the look of countermeasure on the 5200. 5, and the 5200 is just a computer in a box. Yeah, true. So. See, he, his, his shot is really short. The black and red is very mm. short. Yeah, his, he's short, too. So you can always kill him if you have enough room. Yeah. Oh, end of level three. Mm -hmm. Good job. Not too bad. Died twice. I don't know if you guessed. Six again. It's the one. same one. Mm. I don't know. Only got two. There's seven levels. Seven. What? Oh my god, it gets a lot shorter in the what higher levels. Get? Freeze. No, but it, it... Oh, did I get something else? No, you else? got something else. Oh. E? Energy? Good. Yeah. I don't know what you 
Oh, you have distance. Oh, you, I think you might have traded freeze for distance. Oh, that makes sense now. I mean, distance is good. Time. Excellent. Five more minutes. Are the maps and enemy placement the same in every game? Good question. I would guess. Yes. I would guess so too because they seem strategically placed, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they don't seem random. Yeah. D distance. How far does it go? Oh, oh. my god. Are you an eye up there? I am definitely wanting that eye. It's an eye. Invincibility. Oh, it is. So oh. It's just Freeze, time. invincible, speed, distance, time, player. Oh, you want a key. I do. I haven't seen one yet. No, they must be. Oh. I believe you need f four numbers for novice level. Um, Shoot them. Nice. That spell is going to run out. It's okay. You need four numbers. Yeah. We have two. We have two. What? Distance? Yes. Oh, distance is good. Yeah. I do like how it fizzles out too. Yes. It's a nice. And then it reveals what you get. Bloop. Distance, you're all dead. <laughs> oh, more no distance. More distance. Watch out. Good. So good. Yeah, these guys though. I don't think they do angles. I don't think they do. So that's. That's helpful. Thing. That's very helpful. I knew when when you're playing this for this short amount of time that we're interviewing him for. I knew I would love this game. Oh, you you were just watching me play it. I know. Exact type of game I like. Yeah. Where it's a little bit of strategy, a little bit of action. Yeah, a nice. little bit of both. But it's almost like a shooter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a slow. It's shooter. it's a slow shooter. It's a strategic shooter in a sense. Yeah. Yep. For free, freeze. Freeze and get him. I do like how ooh invincibility. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Missiles. Oh, invincibility. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Another just, invincibility. I'll stop doing that. Oh, so good. What is that? Oh, it's this the missile. But it doesn't wow. shoot you. It gets you, right? It is the bullet. It's tracking you? Yeah. It's it, the it um, miss cruise mis cruise missile missile? Cruise missile. Cruise missiles. You can hear them before you see them. As soon as you hear the sound, get to an open area. Uh, I didn't yeah. hear it. Didn't, didn't make much of a sound. I can hear things. Like it's it's loud enough. Invincibility, but uh, this yeah. is a slow road. It's a tight path. I haven't got a super speed in so long. Yeah. Oh, you're about to. It would be. Is it? Oh, yeah, he's I don't know short. If it would be really he's got a short? short throw. Look at his throw. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, no angles for them. Good job, you've got the angle there. I do. Makes it easy. The time's running out, though, so. You need a time. Yes, that, yeah, some of them do have longer than others. Yeah, the they red do. ones. The red and black, it's not necessarily the same because some of them had really short throws. Yep. Like the yellow not throws. Oh, no. But, uh, it's random. It is random. Yep. I actually do think it's random. I don't a think. Bit uh oh. I hate those guys. Oh my god. They're like little shooting. They shooting just constantly bugs. Shoot. Little shooting pill bugs coming yeah. after you. Oh, they're bad. Ugh. Ugh. Speed? Nice. Let's go. Oh. Oh. I can shoot your shots. <gasps> Fuel? No. Freeze. 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 Excellent. Rather a freeze, because then I don't have to shoot them. Or I don't. I won't You're be done, killed by which them. Which is good. Shoot him. Shoot him. You might get some. Good job. Oh. Like an extra light. Two? No, we still have the six and the two. We haven't gotten anything Ugh. else. I've been trying to shoot as much as I can. Mm. 
Oh, it's behind a rock. It's behind a rock. Hmm. Time. Nice. Mm -hmm. To get things. Swamp level, yeah. yeah it, it does is look like a murky. swamp level. Freeze! Nice. There's not many, not many guys here to contend with, especially those guys way out in the water. This is really cool. I really this like this. Cool. I really like the look of this. And it'll still be really challenging. Like on intermediate, yeah. it was challenging. Oh! oh. Oh no! Just off was me. that your last life? No, 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 no. no. Oh, no, no. good. Um, what was I, I going to say? Actually, gained one at some point. There's something about these screens that make me want to knit these seams, in in because I I knit I haven't knit anything in it forever, but um, uh, the pixelation of this style, like right, is the and this level of chunkiness, I guess. Yeah, is this similar to perfectly amenable to knitting in, in <laughs> on a scarf? So. Oh, Whenever so I, I do see my them. Scar. Oh, I know. I tried. It didn't turn out too good. So I have to. I have to come up with a different pattern. Seven eight hundred have character mode graphics. I don't. I. I haven't read much about it, but I don't remember reading that. Can you shoot their shots? No, just some. Just those. Um, military. The guys. men. Yeah. The men. Yeah. It has tiling. Can I shoot through? No. Mm, oh. It has a tile mode. Ooh, this one you can't get from the side. Short oh, range, short, she couldn't even. Short shot, yeah. Oh, level five, seven levels. So we're almost there. Yeah, almost. Yeah, I would think this is not random. It could be randomized. Mm. Like you can make maze programs that. This one is definitely short enough. Yay. Take that. Yeah, where are the 7,800 devs? They would definitely have, be able to tell you that mm -hmm. instantly. Something? No. Still only two numbers. I'm getting a bit worried about that. <laughs> Keeps giving us the same numbers over and over again. Thank you. Don't need it. It does have rapid fire. Does it? Yeah. Can it hold down? Didn't know that. Very useful though, because <laughs> most of the Maybe time you're not the, like, shooting. Those guys. Oh yeah, they would be. Oh, or this guy. <gasps> oh, Got me on an angle. Oh, so tight. Damn it! This is gonna be a challenge if there's a lot of those. A lot of the men. How far do they shoot? shoot? Far enough. But you can shoot their shots, I think. <sighs> Energy. Yeah, that's good. Oh, you got hit by a little Lego guy. It's over. Oh, Damn no. it. Oh. oh, no. I can't see the little guy's shots. They're very They're dark. Very with the, dark. With the, uh, the green background. Yeah. You want to try it then? Just to see how yeah. crazy advanced might be. Seems to be moving faster. Oh. Oh, oh there's a ton are, of them. The shots are so much longer. Look. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Are you, yours are too though. Oh yeah. they are. Both of you have long shots. That does make it harder still. Ah. Oh. Damn it. That's close. Yeah. Well, it is good that you can shoot further. Yeah. At least it's good. <sighs> you can shoot really far. Oh, my God. It's dangerous. Oh, yeah. <gasps> you ran into a shot? Damn it. Oh, yes. my goodness. Good game. Yeah. Not bad. I was hoping to make it to the end, but mm -hmm. put it on the list of games I need to <laughs> Wow. Distance is crazy. Yeah. Advanced definitely will give you a challenge. It'll, it'll make the game a lot slower. Huh? Look how far that shoots. Wow, he's a little bit further than me. It should be. Should have to sneak up on them. Nope. I, 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 I 
hear the squeal of an audio system. Yep. Mic too close to the uh, to the speaker. Yeah. It's making its own music. Call feedback. I call this next song feedback. <laughs> just say that what is that time. from? <laughs> it's from me. Oh. <laughs> from band being in bands. And being silly. Freeze. Uh, yeah, that's probably way better than speed because. Once you get out of Because I still have to shoot them with speed. Yeah. Get them. Because there's so many. I think there'd be a higher chance of... Distance, yeah. <gasps> you gotcha! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, there we go! Wow! Cool. Very, very fun. Uh, both games. So, Failsafe is really good. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to play that again. Mm-hmm and try and get to the end. That's quite a slog to start it over. It's true. Uh, it's like a half an hour into that game I was in. Yes. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what score I got. Is that the high score? No, for... that's the advanced one, so I don't know what your high... Oh, your high score at the top there, 45, 150? I've only played this... That's gotta be it. I've only played advanced this time, so. No, the high score has got to be that your last score. Yeah? That has to be it. Let's Don't see. you think? I 45? Think so. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't change. Yeah. Usually when you change the different difficulty levels, mm -hmm. it would show a different score. Yeah. If it did keep different scores. Um, okay. Um, there was actually a game editor for this game. Really? Yeah. Like level editor? Yeah, level editor by cool. Jay Weirer. Um... I created a game editor for him to use while developing and testing the game. It makes for a pretty good level designer if you'd like to create custom hacks or just see later levels you've been having trouble getting to. Yeah. Basic capabilities. Editing the play field of each of the six levels. Changing the graphics. Play field, player, enemy title. Uh, setting the initial player start position. Setting the enemy locations. Increasing the number of lives in case the default's not enough. Um, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like anybody made any levels. Oh, no one actually yeah. kind of took advantage of it. Yeah, oh. and even in the thread, Al said, um, I wonder if anybody would be interested in having their hacked, a cart of their hacked version of Failsafe made once they're done customizing the game. Oh, um, but that's cool. But nobody made a hack of it. Well, nobody got their own people cartridge. People didn't really kind of get in there and play with it. So. Yeah, this was 11 years ago. So okay, fair enough. Maybe the community was a little bit smaller then. That's Especially true. Especially for 7,800 games. Yeah. Um, just because I don't know, it's just it's not as big, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's a lot bigger now. Mm -hmm. Now we've got uh, the two different carts that we can load homebrews onto. Uh, Neil Media said, uh, "What a high quality game! It reminds me of something we would have bought back in the yeah. day." Yeah, it looks like a really traditional fun. game. Yeah. I mean, it is based off of a, oh, a yeah. fifty-two hundred kind of a port, game. I guess. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah. Well, thank you, Dan. Glad you enjoyed the show. Yes. Um, we will play that game again. Yes. Someday. And do it on basic till we finish the game. Yes. I, cause I think I could make it. I made yeah. it to level five and then I wouldn't. Yeah. Die you don't so want another shot? No. Uh, yeah, I do. Do you? Want to? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can try it again. I feel like it's not even mind. eight o'clock. Yeah. So if you want to give it another go. As long as everything. Uh oh. Boots back up. <laughs> He shut it all down. There it is. It's there. I'm surprised you I didn't. I don't see it on the screen here. Oh, no. Not again. Uh-oh. Maybe we have to play Oyster on. Oyster on? Oyster on? Oyster on. Oh, it is Oyster on. Uh, no, it's not coming back. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to crash my machine. No, don't crash your machine. We don't need another blue screen of death. What is happening? It's really weird. I'm having so much trouble today. I am! It's Bosconian, Bosconian slash Draconian. Yeah. It's all the same. Because that's the arcade version. This is, but it. still, it's the yeah. same. This is VHZC shirt. It is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were looking at them earlier and going, hey, we I was have like, one of oh, those. We have one of those shirts. Damn it, it's not coming Very back. Very cute. Uh, we will have to do it another day. Mm -hmm. It's uh, probably going to crash my system. Let me just try one more thing. It 
Atari's back. Say hello, Atari. Oh, oh I'm so hello. sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. He's like, don't pick me up. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's when he comes in the room that he fluffs everything up, and suddenly things don't work. So is that Hi. you doing that? Kitty? It is. Let's blame the cat. Oh no, device! Oh my gosh, what's going on? What is going on? Uh oh. What is going on? No signal. Yep. It's turning off and on. What is? Me turning the camera. Oh. Off and on. That's crazy. Because <laughs> I was. Messing I don't know with what things. happened there. We will. We'll... Anyone else have a seizure? <laughs> sorry. Because <laughs> we're very sorry. <laughs> Warning. Strobe lights in effect. You 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 <laughs> signed off your um. Uh, your liability policy That's before right. you started watching the show, right? I think so. Freaked out. <laughs> Lots of uh, freaky things happening today. Um, so uh, let me bring up. I don't know why everything went so crazy. I don't know. That was weird. That was like freaky, freaky. It was. Let me bring <laughs> chat. Oh, the chat is up there. Good. Um, so. <laughs> yes, yeah, as we all had to sign this NPH waiver. It's true. I have <laughs> pages of waivers here. It's the cat's fault. Oh, it is easy to blame the kitties, <laughs> isn't it? Because mm. they never. They he's never purring complain. away like he's proud of himself. By the way, so. <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? Yes, what you so did? He's so proud of what he did. Yes. Mwah. Yes, he's a cute cat. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's the. Before the computer crashed, uh, let's see. Oh, it's working. So these are the labels <laughs> that people made for the game. Oh, wow. Uh, lots of really nice looking ones. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I can find the one that actually, I think it was that one was the one that uh, ended up being the actual cartridge. Why are you like... Very, very nice. Is he licky? Ugh. He's like drooling all over me. Uh -huh. I swear he's he's the cause of all these problems. He's so very proud of himself. Very looking ones. Oh, I like the fail safe. That, that one? one. Yeah, it is very Jay nice. Jamie McCallum's. Jay that McCallum. is has a really nice look to it. I like that. Yeah. That style. Very simplistic and very. Then somebody went to get on his good side with the Pac Man. <laughs> it's like, oh, you like Pac Man? Nathan Strem, like... of course. Oh, Nathan. Nathan, there you're sucking up. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, you like Pac Man? I bet you like this Love one. Love these. These are so nice. Yep, yeah. and oh, then there's some gray label ones. Like oh, nice. The uh, classic 7800. So when was this? Sorry, when did people submit uh, their ideas? 2010. Nice. It's way too late. Sorry. Oh. The contest is over. No, no, like, yeah. Mine would be pretty abstract anyway, so. <laughs> That's right. Oh, that one's nice, too. I like that. It would be a knit version of one of those scenes. Yeah. <laughs> knit. Yeah. Oh, those are, oh, I like this. I like oh, these. Oh, look at that. That has a very fallouty kind of look to it. It does. Like that, that era of um, so who wants propaganda. Chips? Did a great job Beautiful. on that. Beautiful. Oh, my awesome. gosh. All you guys, you programmers and Oh, here's the uh, designers and uh, what do I want to call them? Artists. Graphic artists. Graphic artists. Thank you. Oh, look at this. So this is the I have such a fondness. I have such a fondness for this style of graphics. Like the, the top down views of like forest uh, scenes. And yeah. I don't know what it is, but I think because I grew up with this, the Commodore 64, there are a lot of games like that where everything's that top down oh, landscape. Audio. Sorry. Is there? No audio at all. No loud audio. audio. Oh, I can't oh, hear it sorry. at all. Oh, sorry. We can't hear it. Yeah. Let me turn it down. That would help. <laughs> oh, everything's gone crazy. Oh, no. I think I can fix it, though. It's the chaos party outside. No, I can't fix it. No? no it's okay. They can hear it. They can hear us. You, you Can Maybe. you turn it down? Yeah, I turned down oh, okay. the audio. Okay. So people's ears aren't Sorry. <laughs> blowing out of their head. Yeah, this one, the tank moves. Oh, he's going through the trees right now. But it's pretty much the same. It is very similar. Everything move, is moving a little slower, though. Oh, dad. It's fine now, Dan, fine I guess now, he yeah. says. Okay, good. Turn, it, turn tank turn different from each other. They do. Oh, for the mm. 5200. Oh, okay. That could be useful, but could also be very challenging mm. to play. Like, maybe they use the number buttons 
uh, for which direction to fire. Oats. Oh, yeah. Um, because it would be an analog stick up top. I would think that would be your direction. Maybe not. Who knows? Also, you have to solve the code a lot more frequently. Oh, and this one. Uh, does this go vertically only? You know what? I really like how it, the it gun horizontal? shifts. The oh. way the way the gun is, you know, it's diagonal or it's straight. Oh. I really like that. Oh, I bet it's left and like left and right um, buttons. Yeah. And turn turret left turret or clockwise turret yes. counterclockwise. Yes. And then the movement. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Or they could really complicate it mm. and have two joysticks, one yeah. for each track, forward, yes. left, right, back. That's too complicated. <laughs> but anyway, that, uh, <laughs> that's the 5200 version. Mm -hmm. um, so, very cool. I'm, I'm really glad that he chose to uh, port that. I can't wait to play it again. So, uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, next stream. Uh, we're going to be playing Animal, Animal Dentist. That's as far as I know. Uh, I don't know what else we're playing. Remember that little snippet that we saw on the screen? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to play that. Yeah, we're going to play that. Nice, nice. I don't know how it complete the game is. It was very cool. Thank is. you, Arena Foot, for introducing yes, to that. It's pretty you. cool. Yeah. Um, and some other 2600 games as well. Don't Excellent. know what yet. Good, good, good. And then next Friday is the last show of the season. <gasps> With the surprise? Till the break. And it's a big surprise. Please stop the video. What video? Oh. Is it still The playing? stream chat? It was, was it oh, showing the stream chat? Please stop the video. Oh, no. Because we can't hear it at no, all. We can't hear it. That's a problem. Yeah, sorry, sorry. about that. <laughs> Please stop the video. I don't want to hear it. Um, uh, so, yeah. We'll be revealing the exclusive world premiere of Champ Games' new 2600 homebrew. Okay. What could it be? We don't know yet. Mm. Uh, but you should try and guess in the Zero Page Homebrew Club. Mm. And I will link that for everyone out there. If you want to try and guess what it is. Yeah, it's a two-player game. What is <laughs> the uh, The last game? One person does the turret? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, no, no. He's talking about the animal dentist. Oh, it's a two player. yes, it is two a two player, player only. Yeah. Not, no AI. So. Yeah. Um, so we will be uh, revealing the new homebrew. I want Champ to see the invincibility song again. Is that good, kitties? He's happy. Animal dentist. Um, yes, so he has verified it is a game that has never been revealed to the public yet. So if you've heard him or me talk about him making it, it hasn't happened. It's not that one. So it's definitely not Satan's Hollow then, which not is Satan's Hollow. Oh, I really want Satan's Hollow. Not the hockey, not the baseball, not elevator action, because he's announced all those. Yeah. Um, what else? Not eyes. Ooh, eyes would be good. Oh. That would be a good one. Tempest. Nobody's figured out Tempest. a good way to represent Tempest on a 2600 on the screen. It exists on the 8 bit, and there is a port on the 5200, but is there a 2600? I actually have version? the 5200 port. Yeah, do you? Yeah. Is it any good? I have not played it because I hooked the up version, my 5200 for the first time the other day. It's it looks okay. It's yeah. it's the eight bit version of it. It's it's fine. I don't know how it plays though. So it it's all about how it plays and John Champo is the master of translating the feel of the arcade game mm. to the twenty six hundred. He's nice. so good at that. Good. Yeah. And great at the graphics and everything else, but I can dream, can't I? Oh, Tempest, Crossbow says yeah. yes it is good. Yeah, Tempest. Yeah. Yeah. That would be amazing if he made Tempest, but you, you never know. He, he could come up with like, that's how I could represent Tempest on the screen. He has these epiphanies, and he's just <laughs> he like, I must make this game now. So, yep, yeah. it's like that would be great for that. Yeah, yeah. So we will see that in a week. Make sure you tune in. Mm. I'll make sure everybody knows the special show is coming up. Yeah, Tempest is great, and having it on the twenty six hundred would be great because it's mm. usually 
the home ports are in like these really obs like obscure systems like there was one for that one that's like a box that square box with the corner mm. shaved off of it ouya was it for the ouya or some some other thing um and it's on the jaguar which not many people have as well tempest tempest 2000 mm. something like that yeah it was put on a it was ported to all the more obscure systems systems yeah yeah, yeah. so it'd be nice to have it on the 2600 but i don't know we will see i guess we'll see. We'll mm -hmm. see. um so thanks oh driving controller for tempest oh that would be so good mm. is that the one that goes all the way around yep the driving controller the new one that's what i'm thinking it had a like a wing shaped controller oh yeah like it was like a half crescent moon kind of thing very very mm. strange mm. uh tempest 2k is also the saturn which is also a system that you know some people got mm. but not a lot you don't hear about people getting all crazy over the saturn it's usually genesis yes then they go to ps1 yes 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 and yes. that dominated the market that dominated yeah, yeah. And, i was, I was sadly absent from that era of gaming Mm. I think that was like my university years. Saturn is more popular than the seven eight hundred. Or early, early, really? late high school. Or when was well, that? When was that? Sir, now Saturn? it's more popular. I don't know. I guess it. I guess it is. Yeah. Maybe. When was the Genesis? Mid. Uh, early, nineties. Early nineties. Okay. It yeah. always was. A uh, different temp version of Tempest went to PS1, to, I think, Tempest X3. Mm, yeah, so that one's not obscure. Um, I should get that one, Tempest 2000. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with us. Um, it was a good game. Good uh, games today. Good games. Uh, Neo Just Media. Just two. Just two today. Yeah, I thought we would play longer um, on the failsafe, but... Things now not, now it's all falling apart it's all falling but the apart. first game no was quite short because it was just the four mini games which were really really cool and i thought those would be a bit longer too yeah, yeah. they were all really fun yeah. so uh, that's a fun one to pick up and play i think and yes. um and failsafe is beautiful really yeah. beautiful um, yeah. atlas was never released on cartridge even though i have a picture of a cartridge yeah but it wasn't like did you, you make up there? that that fake cartridge no it was in the thread somebody made a cartridge because that's great it is lifting it up literally is like yeah, i don't know if really he's good. a god or demigod or whatever atlas holding up the world that's yeah that's so brilliant it i is love really, that really yeah nice. really yeah. nice yeah arena foot pointed it out oh yeah i good did job. <laughs> i did make one up yeah nowhere near as good as that no that's beautiful this that's beautiful um, yeah you know what i want a t-shirt of which what i want a t-shirt of a just like a four by four square of cartridge art like cartridges like uh actual cartridge art from cartridges maybe that original you, maybe like maybe over. yes i think that would be so cool that's a really easy thing for me to do <laughs> like but i mean like but, i look at atlas and i look at the detail in that i don't know if that dungeon. would that would double score dungeon yes thank we're you we're still Command. waiting on on champ games <laughs> i'm just gonna have to print I, one. I designed one for him yeah I, I sent him the graphics he just needs to do it print it out well you just put it on your page uh, no, he said he was going to make it. So okay. I don't want to make a t-shirt he's going to make. But so. I would love to see homebrew, homebrew cartridge games. You have like to get permission titles. from each of the four. Who people. wouldn't, who would say no to that? <laughs> who would say no to that? Mm -hmm. You can give them each five cents for that the sale of the like t-shirts. pain in the ass. <laughs> Redistribution of money. I'll leave uh, that to Al to do that. <laughs> he can make t-shirts. Bounce it his way. Um... <laughs> No, I just love I love cartridge labels. I think some of them are so beautiful. Yes, so. Wizard of War yeah. reference. Yeah. Wizard of War, Double uh, Score Dungeon. I always say I want a Double Score Dungeon T-shirt because yep. I just love just those words because it's so blocky and simple and just yeah. And, and only the people in the know would get the Wizard of War reference. They'd be like, so. Double Score Is it <laughs> video game dungeon. Dungeon is yeah. like board game. Yeah. What? Yeah. Just yep. obscure enough that only a few people would understand the yeah. reference. Yeah. So you know um yes yes so miss command thank you for joining yes cafe man yeah. 2d arena foot neo media nostalgia nostalgic there we go uh dan avc uh crossbow mike soul uh vitoko who else thank you for hanging in while our computers crashed 
Uh, Steve C, who let us know Octo is through bits. Uh, and everybody Bratwurst, else. Bratwurst oh. Sausage is on there. And Wiki. Columbus. Columbus. Oh, Player Diaz. There we go. Just at the last second. Yeah. Oh, and the wizard on the back. Oh, that would be yes. good. That would be very good. Yes. Good idea, Miss Command. Yes. Um, yes. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. And everybody have a good night. And we will see you on Tuesday at mm -hmm. 6 p.m. for All the right. next episode. Bye-bye. Have a good night.